Hey guys, what's up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video for you guys. How are y'all doing? Today we're gonna take a look at NiceHash and their new platform. I know a lot of you don't like NiceHash, but please forgive me. I I know some of you do, so I'm I'm making this video for the good of the ecosystem, I guess. I I don't know. Maybe it's not good. Maybe it's terrible. But I have a love-hate relationship with NiceHash. I've used it before. I'm sure most of you have used it before, but I'm just going to cover it anyway for you guys. So, I got an email today because I signed up for their beta test about one or two weeks ago, and I guess I was one of the chosen ones. So, uh, we are happy to inform you that you have been chosen for a closed beta test for a new NiceHash platform. Uh, so, let's read through here a little bit, guys. The entire platform runs on a test net. Uh, this means you don't have to use your own funds. Uh, miners, please note that you will get paid in TBTC and not in real BTC. TBTC? Does that mean like thieving Bitcoin or something? <laughs> okay, I got that joke from uh, Nefarious Fool. <laughs> uh, thanks, Nefarious. Okay, uh, testnet coins don't have any real value and exist only for testing purposes. All right. To compensate, one BTC bounty is going to be distributed among the top 100 contributors who will submit bug reports. All right. Uh, then they got a how to how uh, to learn how to deposit testnet coins in your NiceHash account. Please download the following guide. Uh, so they got a guide here. I went through it. It's basically uh, showing you guys how to deposit the uh, test coins and then just learning how uh, playing around with the uh, exchange. So. I'm, I'm not going to go through that. I'm going to go through the mining part and I just want to see how the platform uh, works and all that kind of stuff. So uh, so to follow the instructions to start with the beta testing, uh, start beta testing new, new platform, please navigate to test.nicehash.com and your email is whitelisted so you can, you can log in with that email. Okay, uh, so let's go to it guys. So this is the test.nicehash.com and let's, I already got my email address and everything, so let's log in. Oh, I gotta do the, the uh, Google CAPTCHA thing, chimney. So this and this, watch it not work. Yeah, of course I have to do the stairs. There's only, that's not a stair, that's a ladder. Come on, Google. Okay, guys, <laughs> all right, I'm in. So, okay, hold on, I'm gonna change my scene here. Okay, yeah, you guys can see my rig. I have a GTX uh, 1050 and another GTX 1050 and a R9 270X uh, on this rig. I, I'm going to show you guys, yeah, I, I made this rig all brand new. This is brand new, reformatted. This is a special Windows uh, ISO that has a lot of the stuff um, disabled. So Windows Update, all that kind of stuff. This is like a really dumbed down version of Windows. No Cortana, none of that stuff. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's just this, it's got a Celeron, four gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and that's it. So I got three cards here that I wasn't using, and I put it all into one rig just for this nice hash test, guys, just for you guys. So let's go into it. Um, nice hash. Okay, so this is the new platform, and this is what it looks like. It looks quite different from the other nice hash. Uh, so I don't have any rigs connected. I haven't done anything yet. Um, as you can see on the top right, they got like their settings thing. I tried. I, I tried uploading my. Um, I tried uploading my photo. It wouldn't work. So I reported that bug report. As you guys can see, there's a bug report thing at the bottom. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna disable my uh, scene here so you guys can see what I was talking about. You probably didn't see that. So, <laughs> so in the top right, yeah, sorry. That that's a uh, just a button to see your profile. And then um, let's go to dashboard. So the dashboard, mining status, wallets, recent activities. I don't have anything here. This is all brand new. Let's check out mining tab here. So. Looks like they got a mining address, rig manager, history, stats, add new rig. Okay, cool. And then they got the exchange part here. Uh, nice hash currently does not support exchange currencies in your country. All right then. Well, that's a good thing we're not trying it because I can't even 
Whoa, okay, they got their own trading thing here. Okay, so they are making their own exchange. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Uh, okay, let's go back. Um, hash power marketplace. Okay, so similar. This is where you do your uh, buying the hash power, all that kind of stuff. Kind of similar to the other one. Um, all the algorithms are there. Uh, wallets. Okay, this is cool. So you got your test Bitcoin, test Ether, test XRP. Wow. Test Bitcoin, test Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Zcash. Okay, that's that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, okay, guys, I, I want to go. I want to get into the mining aspect of it. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna go here. Click add new rig. I've never done this before, guys. So you guys are seeing it for the first time. I'm seeing it for the first time as well. So, uh, what do we got here? Nice hash miner legacy. Nice hash OS. Advanced Linux-based mining operating system for mining farms coming soon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so they're gonna have their own OS like Hive OS or um, uh, Simple Mining, for example, the Linux-based operating system. Uh, then we're gonna okay, so we're just gonna download the Nice Hash Miner Legacy uh, current version 1.9.1.5 testnet. Okay, click on download, brings you to their GitHub. I'm gonna download it. Okay, uh, let's show in folder. Brand new computer, guys. Brand new mining rig. Brand new, f definitely all reformatted. New ISO, Windows ISO. Uh, okay, so here's the folder. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Nice hash miner legacy. Let's make a icon to the desktop. And okay, oh, uh, opens up here. Okay, I agree. Okay, wow. Okay, this looks a little bit different from what I've seen before. That has uh, status, temperature, load, RPM. Whoa, it's got more. Okay, it's got more tabs and stuff. Okay, so it's just downloading all the software, all the crypto miners. Uh, let that go. Um, let's go back here. Okay, so I have a testnet mining address here. Uh, please install NiceHash Miner Legacy and follow the steps on the installation screens. Use the following mining address. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that. It's copied. Uh, let's go back to my. Let's go back to the. Oh, where is it? It's gone. Did it close? Did I close it? Yeah, let's open it back up. Wow. Maybe it's it's bugged. It's not gonna work. It doesn't like maybe the other uh, video card I had there. It is it is it is in beta, so maybe that was a bug, because I have uh, AMD and NVIDIA card in here, so two 1050s and one R9 290. Let's bring this back up, guys. The wattage that's the idle wattage you guys can see on the right, 50 watts ish for the whole system, and yeah, three cards at the top there. Running on a 850 watt power supply. Oh, and it closed again. So I wonder what that is. Let's try again. Uh, so use the following my address. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay. So it doesn't like my R9 290. I think that's what's happening. Uh, R9270X. I believe I'll have to take that out, it seems. Yeah, it's it's recognizing the processor, it's recognizing the two GTX 1050s, but it's not recognizing the R9270X, which is understandable. It is an older card. Yeah. It just it just closes. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna shut down and unplug the R9 uh, 270X. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back and the R9 270X is unplugged, and now the wattage idle wattage you guys can see with the two GTX 1050s is 30 watts. So that's pretty good. Okay, so let's open it up. The NiceHash Legacy Testnet. And there it is. Let's see what happens now. 
All right. All right, we're in. So uh, I got my CPU showing up here and the two GTX 1050s. Oh, that's really cool. That shows the temperature there now. Load, start, stop. Oh, you can start each card if you wanted. Okay. Um, okay, let's fill in the service location first. So USA. And uh, we got to get my the Bitcoin address. So that's copied. Uh, there, worker name, I'm just go miner or GTX 1050. I just do worker miner 01. There we go. Okay, and then what are we gonna do, guys? We're gonna go benchmark. Uh, let's look at the settings. Let's see what it looks like now. Uh, okay, so it's the same, I think. Uh, yeah, it's the same. USD, I just do CAD. Uh, Canadian, because I'm Canadian, as you guys are watching. Uh, let's hit save. Uh, let's go to benchmark. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, they got all the regular algorithms, so I'm just gonna go through all of them, guys. And uh, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going to stop the recording and uh, I'll come back to you guys when it's all done. Actually, guys, this is it, it was taking too long. I I want to I want to mention that I'm just running MSI Afterburner stock. These cards are just going to run at 100. Uh yeah, I don't want to change anything. So, um I'm going to I'm just going to benchmark the popular coins right now. So, let's do um uh, how about that Raven coin? So Raven coin, and uh, let let's just do Raven coin, just for the sake of the test, guys. Just let's just do T Rex miner. I like that one the best. And um, let's do a quick ben benchmark here. See what hash rate we get. Oh, and it closed. What do you know? <laughs> All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Didn't like it. Didn't like. Didn't like my uh, uh, Raven coin. Let's go back. Benchmark and Raven coin enable only and enable this only. So start. Oh, the settings are already executed. There's nothing to do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. So if it's green, that means it's already been benchmarked. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's not getting the correct. It's not getting the correct hash rate for X16R Ravencoin. Anyways, who cares? Um, this is all just testing. So let's start, guys. Let's see what happens. Uh, unhandled exception has occurred in your application. If you click continue, the application will ignore. Okay, so I already got an error, but I think it's mining. I'm not quite sure. It shows the device down here. Uh, let's see here. The temperatures aren't going up. Kind of. Okay, I'm going to hit stop. Okay, this is weird. Is my firewall up? No, nope, firewall's off. Let's try again, guys. Nope, I'm still getting this error. Unhandled exception. Public token or one of its dependencies. System cannot be verified. What does that mean, guys? What does that mean? All right, let's maybe let's try a different miner. So let's do uh, CC miner then for 16R. Uh, CC miner. Okay, this one has to benchmark. So let's see what happens. All right, it's not it's not crashing this time. We'll go through this benchmark together, guys. Uh, we're gonna let that go. Um, okay, back to nice hash platform. Oh, looks like I got an inactive rig here. It shows a rig. Uh, okay, let's go to Rig Manager, guys. Let's let's check this out. All right, I'm gonna close the. Uh, there, you guys can see the whole thing. Okay, so that's cool. It actually shows that my my rig is online 
Wow. Whoa, that's, wow, look at this interface. The UI, I really like the user interface. Look at that, guys. Wow, look at that. 32 degrees Celsius shows the temperatures of the cards, the load, you can start or stop each card. Um, wow, this is, this looks pretty slick. Uh, I know some of you guys are probably like, Red Panda, don't go to the dark side. Don't go to the dark side, Red Panda. I know, guys, don't worry, don't worry. Um, okay, wow, rig manager. Okay, uh, let's go see if this thing... Not all benchmarks finish successfully. Alrighty then. So, did anything bench... Can I mine anything? Can I, like... I... It's... I, I, can't, I can't mine anything, guys. Okay, forget about Ravencoin. As much as I love Ravencoin. Let's mine, um... Hell, what should we try, guys? Uh, Zhash. Uh, EWBF miner. Okay, let's do that. And, uh... EWBF start. Will it benchmark this, at least? Let's see. Okay, we'll let that go. Let's keep uh, let's keep uh, looking around here, guys. History and stats. Okay, that's pretty nice. Looks like they got a nice um, for weekly, monthly, or yearly income. <laughs> yearly income. Of course, that's gonna change. Uh, let's go back here to the mining. So I really like this. Um, oh, see, look, status benchmarking, and it's got a nice little uh, indicator here. Benchmarking two cards. All right, it stopped. Uh, was it successful? Uh, looks like it's still going on my end. Uh, looks like the temperature went up 35 degrees. Uh, active workers, mining history stats. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do they got at the bottom here? Uh, Euro or English. Oh, okay, I can change this to USD. Okay, there we go. It's no longer the euro. Um, mining address. Okay, yeah, so that's the address we copied. Uh, add new rig. What does this do? Oh, okay. So same thing that we did before. You got to download it. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, let's go back here to... Oh, active rigs. So is it working? I got the temperatures up at 37 to 34 degrees. Uh, is that what's reporting in Afterburner? Yep. Oh, would you look at that? My cards have went down to 70 power limit by themselves. I had it at 100 power limit before. That's weird. Did Nice Hash Miner change that for me? Whoa, I'm creeped out. Alright, that's weird. That's weird, guys. Uh, okay, yeah, as you can see, the wattage is still like 60 watts. It was at 30 idle, so it is doing something. Uh, still benchmarking as we speak. Uh, active rigs, one, still one. Um, okay, still benchmarking, it says. Oh, guys, I want to I wanna see some real results here. Active workers, nothing yet. So, yeah, wait till the benchmark's done. Sorry, guys. Well, it's cool. We had to test this together. It was the first time I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. I, I, I really like the new interface. I think it's I think it's pretty intuitive, uh, pretty easy to use so far. Uh, let's go just let's go check out this exchange. Okay, so you can exchange currencies right here. I want to exchange uh, Ether. T ether, test ether, thieving ether. <laughs> uh, Fifty percent. Okay, I don't have anything right now. And then you can receive Bitcoin. Okay. So what about the other way? Can you exchange Bitcoin into? Okay, yeah. And then you can do all these other coins. Zcash, XRP. Why is XRP in here? Ether, Litecoin. Okay, that's cool. All right, the, okay, benchmarks not finished successfully. Okay, guys, I think, all right, terminated, terminated. It's not, it's not doing too well here. Okay, anyway, 
Uh, so yeah, if I press start, yeah, it's not gonna mine. I think the this 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 is bugged. I I can't I can't mine anything with this rig. Um, I don't know if it's because of the cards or the software. I'm gonna say because of the software, it's it's definitely kind of buggy right now, and it's um, and now it's frozen. But online it says it's benchmarking, so that's pretty cool. Okay, guys. Well, I showed you guys bas basically what's going on with this, the platform. Showed you guys how what it looks like. Is NiceHash gonna be successful with this? I'm not sure. They're gonna get probably a lot of people on the new platform because a lot of people do use NiceHash, and I I don't doubt that NiceHash is going to. Um, be a pretty big uh, mining software company. So you guys know that there's like Kudo Miner and AIO, AIO Miner, all these different types of other miners out there and they all want a piece of the pie, right? But uh, NiceHash looks like they're still continuing to keep keep on going, right? Um, even after their Bitcoin hack fiasco conspiracy, all that kind of stuff. But anyways guys, let me know what you think down below. I'm sure a lot of you guys have opinions about NiceHash, but um, let me know what you guys think about their new UI, the interface, and their this trade view that this they have their own exchange. <laughs> that I, I find that pretty interesting, um, uh, kind of scary at the same time, uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you guys in the next video. But please have a good one. Peace out.